a king with some of his courtiers had during a hunting party and in the winter seasons drayed far from inhabited places but when the night set in he perceived the house of a Dehan and said, We shall spend the night there to avoid the injury of the cold. One of the viziers, however, objected alleging that it was unworthy of the high dignity of a padsha to take refuge in the house of a Dehan and that it would be best to pitch tents and to light fires on the spot. The Dehan who had become aware of what was taking place prepared some food he had ready in his house, offered it, kissed the ground of service and said, the high dignity of the sultan would not have been so much lowered, but the courtiers did not wish the dignity of the Dehan to become high. The king who was pleased with these words moved for the night into the man's house and bestowed a dress of honor upon him the next morning. When he accompanied the king a few paces at the departure he was heard to say, Nothing was lost of the Sultan's power and palm by accepting the hospitality of a Dihan, but the corner of the Dihan's cap reached the sun when a Sultan such as thou overshadowed his head.